It's got a 250cc overhead valve four-stroke motor. Just a very, they're pretty much a bulletproof motor. They've been making these motors for over 22 years uh, in this format, and they've, been, they've got them to a point now where they're very, very reliable, and they've got a lot of sting. I love the size because we ride on a lot of um, shorter tracks with, um, with a lot of turns. I'm, I'm loving the fact that I'll be able to have something with a shorter wheelbase. It'll be a lot of fun to hit into corners and stuff. Yeah, just something a bit different from the normal longer wheelbase, uh, taller bikes that I normally ride. Areas where people ride are getting smaller. So this bike is ideal. It's really suited towards a smaller track. Um, however, it can wind out too. Like it'll wind out and, you know, on, a, on a straight at, at, any, at any length. It's gonna be my bike, so I, I can't wait to ride this thing. It's really the second new bike I've ever had. I got my first new bike when I was 53, like two years ago. See it in three laps, or four maybe. Maybe five. Well, I've ridden um, the Thumpster many a times, and all the different, even the smaller ones, are great for the, to get into the market, you know, like so. You know, the people who come in and they only got like $1,500 and they can't afford a Jap bike, um, it's a great learning curve and they're nearly bulletproof as well. But any motorcycle, it doesn't matter if it's Japanese or, you know, if you don't maintain it or anything like that and you're going to flog it, guaranteed it's going to break. Uh, it's important that you run it in properly, but it's also important after about 10 hours that you check your, your things like the chain. Um, just all the chain, I just noticed that it's probably a couple of links too loose now. Um, it's, just, it's just got a bit looser, so certainly from going over some of the jumps, and it probably stretches it a little bit. This is just a little play track for you know, like smaller bikes, but it's very technical. So it's got a lot of off cambers and downhills and I call it creative riding. If you maintain these things, they'll like last. Dumpster's been around for more than 20 years now. And um, so, yeah, so that's, that's in itself. You can say, well, there you go. Any motorcycle I say you'll have fun on, even if it's 50cc or, you know, two stroke 500, you know, with a beach racing bike doing, you know, 238 kilometres an hour like my mate Mick Kirkness, you know, so, you know, but then you can get on one of these and you can have a hell of a fun day, you know, and in the price range. I just find that the suspension obviously can be tweaked. I like to make it firm, so we've certainly firmed up the suspension on, on, um, on the Thumpster as much as we can. I've got the spanners here to actually to tighten up the spring a bit, which is what I believe we need to do. Front and rear suspension definitely can be altered, um, and the height of the front suspension on the triple tree can also be altered. So you can have it whether it's, um, you know, you can pull it up into your triple tree and put an inch, and it actually gives you a little bit more control um, and, and weight down over the front wheel when you're going around some of the corners and that to keep um, the front wheel from sliding out. The Thumbster is just a good all-round bike. Um, what I've found riding it here is, it's, um, yeah, it's great up the straight. It's got everything you want. When it takes off, it actually floats a bit up the straight in the back straight there where there's lots of ruts and that. It seems to float over them. Um, it's good over your normal size jumps. When it gets a bit bigger, it gets a bit, um, you know, I need to adjust the suspension a little bit more, which I can do. Yeah, it's a bit shorter wheelbase, which makes it, um, yeah, it seemed to really dig into those corners. So yeah, you can get your weight up in the right spot and hang on, it's good fun. Brado from Insane Bikes, basically um, is a mate of mine. And um, yeah, so we've been testing like the thumpsters around here and and yeah, they go good. Um, and they put them through their paces and it's sort of like suits, the corners suit the power of the bike. Yeah, my name's um, Mick Esplin, mate. So I've been um, riding bikes for probably uh, 39 years. I've always wanted a bike since I could um, walk. My parents said I'd never have a motorbike and uh, 
Um, I remember one time they were going on a holiday to watch my brother play footy and I got offered um, some money to stay home instead of going on the holiday and I went, yes, because it was nearly about as much as what this bike had cost I'd seen in the second hand shop down the road. So I, um, when, they were, when they went, um, unbeknownst to them, I went down the bike shop and um, bought the, uh, a little Honda MR50 and uh, I've still got it to this day. Yeah, so very passionate about about bikes and uh, riding. I got a flogging when he got home, but after that, I still got to keep the bike. It was good. Uh, my name's TJ. Uh, I've been riding bikes since I was oh, probably four. Um, done all kinds of riding. Grew up riding on property. Um, raced a bit of motocross for a while. Um, went into freestyle for a bit there. Um, and now I'm in enduro, riding a lot. One of the biggest things that I love about the sports community, um, definitely, um, you know, just all different people from different walks of life can come together and just love the sport. Um, there's always the adrenaline behind it. That's definitely something that keeps you going. But yeah, I mean, once you once you kind of get the bug, which I got pretty early in life, you just you just fall into it, and I guess there's nothing that can stop you from getting on the bike. Well, I wasn't really sure what to expect. I mean, it's a 250 and a 230 frame, and I'm coming from riding 450s. So, like my usual bike, it's a 450 fuel injected. Yeah, I wasn't really sure what, what to expect walking in, but after getting on the bike and feeling it, it, yeah, it blew me away, actually. I feel fucking great, mate, I love this shit. Quite a good opportunity, actually. I'm pretty appreciative to, for Brad to bring me out here and let me give the, the new thumps to a ride. Um, it, it rode great. Uh, a lot more than what I expected out of it, yeah, for sure. Okay, hey, how'd you go, mate? Did you enjoy it? Mate, what did you think of the Thumbster? What a bike. It's, yeah. Um, yeah, she handled great. Awesome. Yeah, so what do you think about around the corners? Digs in good? Yeah, digs in good. Yep. Like, the throttle control on it was perfect. Yep. And, yeah, just... Lent into corners, that back Yeah, I thought, yeah, around corners was great. So yeah. we've been uh, here today testing the Thumbster, um, putting it through it, putting it through the ringer after last week after we put it together. And it's um, been a great bike, TJ being a really good freestyle rider. I just want to get his opinion of how it performed and how it went around the track. Honestly, the bike blew me away. Uh, just the handling, the, the yeah. throttle control, like... It wasn't super aggressive, but yep. if you wanted to give it a good go, you could open it up and it did yeah. what you wanted. Did you give it a good go? Down? I've seen you a few times along that back straight. You missed the yep. jumps, and it was, it's a lot of fun getting over those. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it handled up the jumps nice and well, and yep. landed nice flat on the straight, and yeah, really ripped it up across the back there. The undulations at the back does it easy, eh? Yeah, yeah. Yep. And then even coming through just the front here, hitting this nice sandy stuff, it yep. could lean over nice, and coming into berms, it, Handled real good on the corners. Yeah, it was great. I thought so too. I thought just these, particularly these corners, it just loves them. Um, yeah. The roller coaster berm at the end, if you stand up all the way around, it's a lot of fun. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. I found it had really good control as well, like brilliant control. Mm. Really good trail bike, really good motocross bike. Um, yeah, but just probably not a freestyle bike. But other than that, it's brilliant. Alloy rims and the, and the wheels and everything, and the suspension you can adjust, which is good, so it makes it a little bit better. Was there anything that stood out for you? Because I mean... Mate, what stood out for me was um, the fact that it's had four good stacks in the last three days. Yep. And, it's, and, and nothing's, the handlebars haven't even bent yet, which yeah. has been amazing. I had to readjust a few things from one of the stacks we had yesterday. Um, I dropped it in the shop after we made it and uh, I dropped it onto some really all tools and that. It just it done a bit of damage there, but um, nothing major. So it's mm. a really durable bike, uh, and all day it's been running like non-stop, bulletproof, and just ve just start of the button and off you go. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I found the same thing, and I mean, like the biggest thing for me too is the electric start. Anyone, yeah. Anyone coming into bikes, like that's yeah. the biggest thing is they just stick a kicking all day. You know, if you drop it or falls over or something, to get back on and have to kick it when you're tired. Yeah. I mean, it's a nightmare. So the e starts perfect, and yeah, like you said, that big buster and that bar didn't even break. Yeah, I mean, no, it's true. Yeah, I dragged it down the dirt. And hey, it what do you, how do you think about the um, like the uh, the plastics and the way? You, did you find you could move up and down the bike, you know, freely? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, like and a, the pegs, how are they? Yeah, the the pegs, they're nice and fat for for a stock bike. I mean, they were great pegs. You got plenty of grip on the bike, and 
I could hug it really nice. I could sit on the back if I was, you know, hitting a bit of a whoopee section or move up forward in the in the corners. The seat yeah. is super comfy. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the whole thing handled really, really well. Yeah, I, I was surprised too. For a shorter wheelbase, it really did handle well. I just thought it would be good in the corners, which it was, but it was really good up the straight as well. Yeah. It yeah. went over all those deep undulations and just floated right over the top of them. Yeah. So, um, yeah, mate, what do you think of the overall look of the bike? I mean, yeah, look, I, I like me pink, but I'm definitely yeah. a the green. You are a pink fella. Yeah, the, the green looks good and, you know, all it just needs is a 23 on the side there. Yeah, 23. Should, should be perfect. Yeah. Yeah, well, we've had a great day here today at the uh, Thumbster trial, and um, we would probably rate the bike 9 out of 10. It's been a great day. Yep, yep um, for sure. We should have had some barbecue sausages, but we didn't, but the rest has been fun. Yep, yep. Thanks a lot for having me out here, bro. Thanks, really mate. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming out here, and thanks to Les for putting all this together. He's yeah. brilliant. Champion.